Jesus. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jason Anthony and I'm a full-time content creator. On this channel, I get to teach you guys how to step up your content creating skills. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys for free my Lumafade presets. You've seen Sam Calder use them, Matt Como, Mike Visuals. Lumafade transitions are really dope and very easy to use. I made two different types and I wanna give them to you guys for free. So in the description below, there'll be a link where you could download them completely free. What we're gonna do is jump into Adobe Premiere so I can show you how to easily put these on your clips. The only thing I wanna say is don't abuse these transitions. In my films, I like to use maybe one or two tops. Just don't abuse the fancy transitions. Make sure you guys are relaying a story and you're setting the mood and the vibes with the sound effects and all the good stuff. Remember, it's not about fancy transitions and random clips. You want to bring everything together and make you like the viewer feel like you're actually there. So keep that in mind, guys. So enough of me rambling. Let's dive into Adobe Premiere and we'll get that set up. OK, let's hit it. Okay, so we're up in Adobe Premiere and all you have to do is click on the link in the description. Once again, save the preset pack to a safe folder and then click on your effects tab right here dead center. On the right hand side, if you're on a Mac, you're gonna hold down control and then click where you're gonna go over to presets. On PC, just right click with your mouse and then go to import presets. What we're going to do now is just find the presets um, wherever you save them from, whether it's a folder or on your desktop and then we're just gonna click and then hit open. I already have it done, so I'm not gonna do it, but that's how easy it is to install these presets. Now, the preset's called Lumafade Black, and I'm just going to go back to the editing screen and open up my effects over here. This way I could show you the full screen. So we're right over here, and then we have two different options. We have a Lumafade Black and a Lumafade White. Super simple. I'm going to play you the clip again from the intro just so you guys can see the Lumafade. Let's get that going. Bam, there's the Lumafade transition, super clean, very easy to do. So let's go over to the same two clips right here. And what you want to do is the first clip you do want to stagger onto the second clip. And if we zoom in right here, we're going to hit the C key and we're gonna make a cut right here where they meet. Now, all we need to do on this little piece that's highlighted is drag the transition onto. And then if we hit enter, let it render out real quick. Okay, so we rendered out, let's get this playing. And I'll show you guys just how easy it is. And boom, we're having the transition right there. Now, if you guys were wondering, these New York clips were shot S-Log2 on my A7R3, and I'm using Hembu's LUT pack. He has three S-Log2 LUTs and then the same LUTs, but for any type of picture profile. And I really do enjoy these. I believe this is the Earth one. He has Earth, Love, and Ocean. And I'm really enjoying these. In the description, I'll also drop a link to his YouTube channel if you don't already follow him. The dude is awesome. Hopefully we can link up one day and work on a project together. But this is what we have so far. So super simple super easy so this part that hangs over if you want a faster lumafade transition let me just show you let's go to the effects tab and just delete the lumafade so say we want to have a faster transition what we could do is we could trim it down and then just redrag it on and the fade's going to be faster that's it so you can play around with the size of the clip if you do it longer, it's gonna be even slower, that sort of thing. But notice how it's just a little bit slower. So have fun with it, play around, and you can get some really cool effects. So let's go to our second series of clips and I'll show you the next one. So we'll start right here. And this is a drone shot from the cave in San Diego. It's actually really hard to get to because it has to be low tide. And I flew the drone can do a little blacked out Lumafade transition to inside the cave. 
I'm sorry I'm playing that at a fourth of the quality, so let's play that back. And boom, there you have it. Nice right there. And it's very simple. Once again, let's go to the next section. All right, so we have it right here. No color grade on this clip or anything like that. And we're just going to overlap them right here, make the cut where the second clip meets, and then we're just gonna drag and drop, hit play, and there you have it. A nice clean transition, super simple. Like I said, guys, just don't abuse it. Now for this one, this was another one of Hembu's LUTs. Another thing I wanna show you guys is if you haven't seen my cinematic bar preset video, I used it for this one with the opening. So I'll put a link on the info card above for you guys to click on that so you can get that free preset too. There's four different cinematic bars that I use, including one that's like Peter McKinnon's. So have fun with it guys. That's the video, very simple, fast tutorial to speed up your editing and workflow. Nice little transition for you guys today. All right guys, so that wraps up today's video. Let me know in the description below if you're gonna download these and use them on your travel films and client projects, all that good stuff. I wanna hear your opinions and if you guys like these free presets that I've been making for you. Also remember, leave a thumbs up if you thought this was helpful, subscribe if you're new here, and always check me out on Instagram where I upload new pictures and videos daily. You can even DM me right there and ask me any questions. Until next time guys, my name is Jason Anthony. I'll see you soon, peace.